Hey guys, Sean from Media's Play Games. Um, here to bring you a bit of a spice. You've got the Broly deck profile for you. I uh, just tried that out at my local. Uh, I came second, honestly, it was pretty fun. Um, only issue with it, I didn't see ring turn one a lot. I saw it one game, so most of the time it was coming turn two or three, so it was like, wasn't horrible, was, you know, you can always change this number, uh, but we'll get more into that later through. So playing blue-green first off, um, just staple blue, uh, green as well, you know, just mixing it up, uh, having a bit of fun with it, uh, just blue's too strong not to play right now with coercion being a card, um, and it just like supports this deck so well. Um, so I'm playing four of the energy boosted Majin Buu, uh, obviously playing blue, drawing cards always good, especially where if you have to swing and neg yourself a card, you know, that extra draw is really, yeah, helps you get going. Um, playing two Ultimate Judgment Jarkos, um, I personally just like this card, being able to uh, play defensively and being able to like ditch random cards that like can be good in situations and playing this instead, like being able to drop a, like discarding a 10, uh, like 10k combo of Broly or like discarding it off one of these uh, and then saving it because you have this, like this card's just so reliable in a deck, gives you that extra safety net. Um, and it's just like really fun because no one expects it anymore. They like forget what this card does. Um, doesn't see a lot of play, so it's just really fun to pull out of nowhere. Um, only playing two. Um, it was like card forty eight, uh, like yeah, uh, forty nine fifty. So you know it, it has its place as its time. I'm um, playing four bean. Um, we're playing blue, so we got to play four of this card. It's so strong, being able to just play this and like you can potentially play like as many of these patterns you really want. Like this this card here just runs the deck. Or we'll get more into that later. Um, playing full coercion, again, best negate in the game. Being able to just negate an attack and untap any mana. Playing yourself for free is just way too strong. Um, playing four of the TM. The TM. So this card's just really good. We needed some way of self-awakening. And for this deck, I feel like result of training is just too slow. So being able to TN like early and just get rid of the board as well. Since Broly can't attack um, battle cards, being able to pop their board is pretty crucial. Um, playing uh, ten, oh, sorry, four of the temp pump. Obviously, uh, this card, you just have to play four of it every deck. Like Every deck has a color, every deck has a temp pump. Um, some spice playing Cell's Absorption. I love this card. Uh, it's really good. You can ditch it if you need to bring something back. Considering it's got no combo value, they're generally the things you will ditch if you need to ditch. Um, but being able to just summon a big board and then being able to neg two cards from your hand, uh, your opponent's hand, is just really game changing. Especially when your lead is already negging them and you can just keep making them discard. Uh, making them cycle through all their good cards and they start drawing all their bad fillers. Like they draw their result of trainings when they're already awakened and it just like makes them draw all their bad things. And to being able to cycle their hand like this is just really strong. Um, obviously, we're playing Broly, so we're going to play Broly's Ring. Um, I feel like. I feel like 3 was the proper number, I just, I tested it at 3 and I oversaw it and then I'm trying it at 2 and like I said I just, I opened it once today, in 4 rounds we opened it 1, so 1 in 4, not great, but most turn 2's I had the uh, Paragus, uh, which is just, I guess it's just as good, like I went first I think 2 games, so essentially it was, uh, when I had the Paragus it was like going, I uh, like having it first turn and board present, so it wasn't that bad. Um, but the two ring, I probably would have played it at three, but I don't know, two's still a really good number. Um, we're only playing three of the Paragus. Again, like, you don't want to see this after, like, really turn one or turn two. You want to see either of these cards, and after that, it's sort of just, seeing them again, you just, you just end up hating yourself. So it's just, you don't want to oversee these cards, so I feel like five is the right amount. Um, I, like... I didn't not see ring or day. I saw it in every single match, so I do feel like this is the right ratio. Um, we're playing four of the overflowing bio warrior army. This card is, just runs the deck itself. Um, it's so good. It states when this card leaves the battle area, discard a card and bring it back. So you generally just swing with this, swing with the flip side Broly, and just pop it. Or you can pop it with the Kale, or you just pop it with anything really. You got so much popping in this deck. And you just discard a card, bring it back. So I, I've discarded like coercion, beans, cell absorptions, or just like useless things, uh, like over the overwhelm cards where it's just, you've already overwhelmed this turn, so you just ditch it anyway and just fuel your next one. 
Um, and this card just is so good. It's you just get like minimum two attacks. If you like swing a leader and you have a KO, this card can just come back three times in a one turn for free, and it's just so strong. Um, for the new black cards, I'm playing four of the Time Patrol Trunks. This card's really good, playing it for free, getting draw a card. Consistency, especially in this deck when you want to see your rings and the Paragus. It's just, also if you oversee them, you get to put them back at the bottom of the deck. So it's really strong. Um, and just like one of the best cards from villains in my opinion. Um, then we're playing four of the five drop go tanks. This card's just so good, like the Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Being able to just play this, um, and like this can just end the game so easy. I think I only summed it once throughout the whole day. Honestly, I won my matches really quickly. I only lost uh, one match, and that was to Go Tanks. That was me seeing uh, Ring turn three, and then that was uh, it was my misplay. I accidentally um, I had the boo in hand, forgot to summon it, and swung leader, and I had to pop my own ring, and that just set me so far behind. Uh, it just it's just one of those misplays you just don't think about. Um, but we're playing three of the uh, three drop go tanks as well. This helps you cycle out your opponent's hand more, them having to discard first, and then having to take the 15. Or if they just if they combo over this card, this card just neg two cards from them. And like for a three drop that just discards two and attacks, it's so strong. Um, for the other overroom card, we got the two Marseillans. This card's really good. Um, the removal is really nice. Even with Broly's flip side, having that extra removal just deals with big boards. You got things like the um, the starter deck Goku. That with the uh, hero support in that, they're just spamming the 20k Vegetas every turn. They can pull like two, or three of them out, and you just get like you, next thing you know, you're just on this giant board, and you're like, okay, one mana, you get to pop, you know, two of those Vegetas because they're a three cost card. If one of the mana is blue, it it's only a two drop in their hand and on their battlefield so really you can pop it with uh, you can pop two of them with the Marseille the Kale um, and if you've got Family of Justice and uh, it's still a two drop uh, also if you're playing that card from Villains the Toa um, that still is a two drop card so you can actually steal their Vegeta if they summon it for two um, and then just to round off the deck we're playing two Kale um, and two Determined Super Saiyan Gohan um, like Permahan and Kale are just too strong. I really like the 2 and 2 ratio. I'd probably play a third Kale if I had a third Kale. Um, drawing off this is really strong. Um, but yeah, these cards themselves are just really strong and really good. Um, I actually really love the ratio. A lot of people just say play 4 Kale, but you don't always want to pop one card you control. I mean, being like popping like these two together are really strong because you swing bio army, you pop the bio army and bring it back and then, but you don't always want to do that because you still want to have hand advantage and you, like this isn't once per turn. You can discard as many cards as you want from your hand and it will just keep coming back, but you also don't want to discard your whole hand in the one turn. Um, so that's why I like the two Promohan as well. Um, then for the um, that, that runs up the actual deck. Uh, for the actual Broly, if you, you don't know what it is, I sort of skipped it, my apologies. Um, but uh, Broly himself can't attack battle cards, which is why I also like all the removal and just all like the actual board clearers, um, like Tian and things like that. So, and then on this side, like on his unawoken side, you attack and both players have to discard one. Obviously the exception is when you play your ring. Um, so you're you're just discarding your opponent's hand, and it doesn't have the um, negative effect with Go Tanks, where they have to have more cards with you. So you generally get one or two discards every turn. Um, on the flip side, it's your opponent has to discard a card, and both players pop one monster. Oh, sorry, one card in their battle area. So if you don't have anything on board and you've got a ring and you attack, as I found out the hard way, you do have to pop your ring, which that was my biggest misplay of the day. Um, it's like still feeling bad about it, but hey, it happens. Um, your main target that you want to pop is this. Um, I popped the, like the dead TN a few times, you know, like if you didn't want to discard anything, you it's a mandatory pop, so it, it, you're good to just pop your TN. Um, it's rare you combo with it again from field. That's two costs for a 10k. It's not really worth comboing more than just once. Um, most time you see this more than one, you just mana it anyway. Um, well, that's that's a deck profile. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was lots of fun playing this deck. Like, we're looking for a fun, decently budget deck. The only expensive cards are the promo horns, um, and I guess the KOs as well. Everything else is pretty much uh, common. Um, very cheap. Uh, I'm not sure about the villain stuff right now, but this, like, the hero and villain set, very good. Uh, definitely worth picking up. 
Uh, um, all right, thanks. Give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, we're done. Oh, hands out, yeah. I think I talk too much.